Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments, I'm just using your initials for privacy purposes, uh, E, and um, EA, I should say, and I just read your essay, so uh, overall, I think you're in pretty good shape. There's two parts to the question, really. Describe a custom from your country that you'd like other people from other countries to adopt. Explain your choice using specific reasons and examples. So in this case, you talk about gathering family. So the one thing you didn't do is, I would probably take a paragraph to describe the custom, explain when people do it, and then why they do it. You, you might do that in paragraph uh, two. And then in paragraph three and four, you can then explain why you think other people should adopt this particular custom. That's mainly what you focused on uh, with your essay. So still, it's, you're in pretty good shape. So your topic sentences, paragraph two, you say one of the, you say most, you want to say one of the main reasons to choose this custom is to keep in touch with members of your family. And then the next sentence is a fragment. You want to say maybe comma, especially when your family does not live with you in the same country or city. And then you give an example to help illustrate that idea. So I, I think that your example was effective in supporting the point you're trying to make. The next paragraph, you see, furthermore, a family gathering is a good opportunity to enjoy and have fun. And then you give some examples to illustrate that idea. So what I'd like to see here, you got one, two, three, four. Instead of four paragraphs, you could probably use five. And in the second paragraph, you could describe the actual custom of gathering together. And then you could keep the remaining paragraphs to explain why you think another country should adopt it. Now, within each paragraph, you do have some problems with either word choice or sentence structure or, or something along those lines. So let me see if I can give you an example here. Let's go to paragraph... Um, how about paragraph one, the last sentence? You say, gathering family with uh, each... You want to say each other's how do you want to say that you might say gathering families together I would just say gathering families together each week month or many times in one year is our habit I would say that we proudly introduce to the world or you can say that we are proud to introduce to the world. So after the word we, you just say a. So you want to make sure you use your verb there, and then your meaning is a lot clearer in the, that idea. Uh, in your next paragraph, let me take a look at this one. Uh, you say, one of the most reasons, I would probably change that to say one of the main reasons to choose this custom is to keep in touch with members of your family. That's how I would uh, rewrite that. So that's a word choice um, idea there. One of the main reasons. Or you can say the most important reason to choose this custom. You could rephrase it also. Okay, in your fourth paragraph you say maybe in the third sentence you say traveling with each other is you want to say one of our priorities to have fun especially when the family has many members so you, then you may give an example where could you go that you think would help you there that would be fun so probably part of the difficulty with this paragraph is you say family gathering is a good opportunity to enjoy and have fun. Then you say in my country when we have a holiday or a day off we usually go on a, a picnic, barbecue, or play games during that day. Then you say traveling. You're probably introducing too many different ideas there because then it, you're not going to have enough time to describe each of those particular things. So you should probably focus a little bit. You might say, for example, in my country, when we have a holiday, 
we like to gather together as a family. And then you talked about what you like to do on that holiday and how the family gathering uh, is important. Okay, in the final paragraph, you say, uh, in conclusion, organizing a large family per periodically could be a great culture that we do in my country to communicate. I would probably say could be a great cultural belief that we do in our country, maybe. So uh, overall, though, I think you have a, a fairly well-written essay. So let's take a look at the rubrics right now. I can give you a score here. Uh, I don't think you'll score in the four range on this one because you have some problems with your sentence structure and your word choice. Uh, probably you can develop or focus certain ideas a little bit more. I'm going to put you in the three range on this one. Um, I'm going to put you 3.0. Uh, out of four, out of five, I mean, this is going to put you at about 20 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Uh, for the purposes of our class, this is going to put you at 76% uh, on this assignment. All right?